Hello guys! Today, check the van for first, first stop motorcycle. Today is the Saturday and I'm going to visit the light show at Marina Bay. Is it, I don't know, is it called, is it called Highlight? I don't know. But yeah. Going for the light show at Marina Bay today. Well, cars are really fast today, yeah. So let's talk about riding safe today. And the thing about speeding in Singapore. You know, in Singapore, the maximum highway speed limit is 90 km per hour, so an estimate would be around 60 miles per hour on the highway. And to me, that it's very, really, it's fucking ridiculous because it, it's, it's so slow, it's stupid, you know. Yeah, because it's so slow and stupid. Sometimes I think that um, if you are traveling around, you know, maybe 110, maybe 115, nearly 120, it's fine. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I mean, speeding doesn't really kill, you know, I mean, in a car or whatever shit. Um, speeding is not the reason why people die because it's usually speeding plus drinking you know which cause a lot of trouble i mean speeding responsibility it's okay i mean like maybe on an empty road you want to speed okay you want to speed but i technically don't call it speeding because really singapore speed limit is too slow yeah so going above 90 kilometers per hour on a normal road i mean on an open road like this i think it's perfectly normal and fine in fact, I think for all motorcyclists, going fast is probably going to save your life on an empty road because, like I said, it you can keep, like I said before in my previous video, I don't know which video though, you can really stay on the first lane if you are riding fast enough. And riding on the first lane gives you a lot of advantage compared to riding on the out. Uh, the second and third lane see the thing about riding second and third lane you have all these heavy vehicles you know and buses going in and out of the highway so yeah I'm just I, keep, I always look out for any vehicles behind me so I have to give way if like there is only cars going faster than me because it's raining and I don't want to go so fast today yeah so uh, back to the topic it's about the uh, yeah, it's about staying on the first lane uh, because that there are, I mean in Singapore, um, lorries and buses are not allowed to ride on the, are not allowed to drive on the first lane. So if you can keep your motorbike on the first lane, you minimize the risk of getting a, a accident with the lorries and the buses, which have tons of blind spot and. That is one reason, that is one of the reasons why you should always keep on the first lane. And there's another reason for you to try to always keep on the first lane is that the second and third lane, it's usually the place where a lot of the vehicles are filtering in and out of the highway, either going out of the highway or entering into the highway where they kind of switch lane and some of them do it abruptly. So like when I say that when you stick to the first lane, you there's literally no vehicles switching from the right side over here of your of your no, the right side of your bike. No, no, no vehicle is going to do a, a left signal and change into your lane because you are at the most right of the lane and there's no certainly no vehicles on a, on your right side anymore. And the only thing you have to watch out is the left side where there are cars coming in to join you on the first lane so in a way you only need to concentrate on um, looking at your left side instead of your left and right if you are in the middle lane 
That's why I always encourage them on the, on the first lane instead of the second and third lane. And the third reason for me is uh, a lot of sleepy drivers and you know, sleepy van driver, car drivers, they tend to travel at a slower speed because they know that they are sleepy so they don't want to risk traveling fast. Hence, they, try, they tend to stay on the second and third lane and because of the fact that they try to always stay on the second and third lane, it's always good to avoid that lane at night. Because you know, no matter how slow you travel, if you are sleepy or you are just tired, you are prone to you know make certain mistakes like not checking your blind spot when you are switching lanes, you know, or maybe your car will just wobble left and right because you are not steady on your steering wheel due to you being fatigued and stuff. Which I don't really blame them because it can be tire tiring, you know. Some people can really be too tired and stuff, but they still have to get home or get to work. So I don't really blame them, but I'm just saying that maybe for a motorcycle, it's better to avoid the uh, um, second and third lane unless you're going to filter out the highway. Yeah, I mean, um, not counting the freak accident that happened. A um, lot long ago, with the uh, tires coming loose and hitting the uh, mo motorcycle, try traveling on the. Always try to you know pick up speed and try to get on the first lane as soon as possible. And yeah, there are a lot of instances where slow motorists, you know, they they are traveling on the first two lane, the second and third lane. I mean, and. Because they are so slow, there are a lot of vehicles that is tailgating you and shit. And I remember that there's one time where there's this woman who got rear-ended by a lorry for no fucking good reason. I mean, that is so stupid of the lorry, you know, how can he just rear end another motor, motorcycle I think there was also another one at uh, I think right after um, Stephen Road at PIE where another motorist got rear ended by another vehicle travelling while travelling on the And for me, that's why I feel that traveling on the first day is the safest because like I said, you only have to look out on your left side and nothing on your right. So you can really be more aware of your surrounding and what is happening, anybody speeding up and shit. Instead of just looking left and right and just... <coughs> uh, so yeah, now I'm going to the highlight show at Marina Bay. Is it called the highlight? I think it's called the highlight. Something tells me it's called the highlight, that's why. And I'm wearing bright neon yellow today, you see. <laughs> gonna stand out man, I'm gonna stand out. Oh, no wonder. But I get it. Yeah, that's that's really fucked up. Oh, shit. That place is a turn, that's why. But that's not a turn, it's a turn. Idiots, yeah. Just a big car can't wait. Oh, that's it. 
发哥那个那个车要割进来我这边讲。我那那不可以割，人家排队还这样割。印度人来的，我老嘞，全部排好好啊，哪可以这样割？呜，耶！ The only place we get free parking. In town is Esplanade. Hello, guys. So I just finished a visit to the highlight at Marina Bay. I mean, I don't think it's really fun, man. I mean, the lights are really uh, <laughs> just light. It's pretty underwhelming to me. Maybe I'm just not a light person, but if you guys like lights and stuff, you can come check it out. But for me, it's not really for me though. Uh, to me, it's just lights and um, some booth. Uh, you actually have to queue up to take pictures and like fuck man. I'm not queuing up just to take a freaking picture because it's so long. The queue is so freaking long. So to me, I think it's not really worth the trip. I mean, if you are if you are nearby, you can come have a look. But don't I mean, coming down specifically for coming down specifically for this, it's a big waste of time. At least for me, I think that it's a waste of time because it's really really boring. I mean, Uncle Ringo looks fine, but then uh, the thing is, uh, I, I don't like the. System whereby you have to top up a certain amount of uh, amount in your card in order to play. Cause queuing up for the card and the uh, topping up process is so long. It's really a hassle to me. Cause I don't really like to queue for all this. But it seems fun though. You can try, but for me, I don't really like to queue. That's why I didn't. Play any Uncle Ringo stuff. I would like to have like the old school day, you know, where you just use cash and play, and it's not that troublesome, you know. My girlfriend got shocked by that. By that lot, by that motorcycle. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I think it's the end of the vlog for today and uh, please comment about what you'd like to see next time and like my video and you know, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos, okay? Thank you to all you YouTube people. No, I don't know if it's a good, is it a good way to add a video. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and comment on what you guys would like to see next. On my bike, my CBR 150R, not double R. I hope it's a double R, but it's not a double R. Okay, so see you again next time. Bye bye.